Welcome back to ISM, uh, I'm Lee. I'm just going to do a quick review on the Zukimore uh, Special Brush. Now, I'd probably a lot of you probably haven't heard of these brushes. Um, they are quite hard to find. There's only one seller in the UK um, around at the moment, and they're even hard to get from abroad as well. Um, if you search Zukimore brushes, you come up with facial brushes and things like that, which is a bit strange. But uh, I bought these from um, a seller in Telford, and I believe, if I remember right, it's RB Productions that, that sell them, or it's MDC Construction. I'll, um, I'll confirm that uh, at the bottom when uh, I do the price for these. Um, but they are the only place in the country that sells them. They're, I think they were four ninety nine pounds each, um, and they cost me, I think it's 15 quid for four while I was at Telford, or 20 quid, I can't remember, but anyway. Um, and I took a punt on them because I've had so many problems with brushes uh, that uh, I have gone through, I would probably say, 30 paintbrushes looking for a decent brush. Now the problem I've got is, if you can go onto the overhead here, um, I've got these. Now these are Kalinsky, Red Kalinsky Sable brushes and you can see how they're stored lying flat in a in a, um, uh, an old cigar case, so they don't touch the sides or anything like that. But you can see how the heads spread, and they haven't kept their shape or anything like that. One of my favourite brushes up until now has been this Stylex modelling brush, which you can only get from America. Now these are about three or four quid off of eBay, but they really do hold their shape, and they're really good for getting in those intricate places. And they're a size naught, which is pretty much perfect for any modelling purposes, really. And I bought about three or four of these, but they're not very well made. Um, as you can see from that, it's not round or straight or anything like that, and they're all like that. But they are quite nice little brushes to use, I must say. Um, but these these Kalinsky brushes, um, now these weren't cheap. These are uh, creative model ones. Um, I bought these from, I can't remember where for the life of me, but they were like £26 for a set of 10. Uh, so they weren't cheap by any standards. They, they feel nice, but they're just, you know, they've all lost their shape. And uh, to be honest with you, there's loose hairs and things like that, so I'm not overly impressed with those at all. I know a lot of people recommend using uh, Windsor & Newton um, and uh, their Series 7. I might try and get those, but for the moment I don't need to because I have these babies. Uh, now, they only come in four sizes, unfortunately, which is one, two, three, and four. And they come in these nice little packets, as you can see. And uh, they're, they're proper sealed packets, and literally you just pull them open I say literally, uh, there you go, like that, and out pops your brush. Um, now, as I say, you can get these, I'm, I'm sure, from uh, abroad, but you can only get them from one place in the UK. Uh, now, as you can see how they come, you can see the shape of that tip. It's absolutely beautiful. Now, these are actually, the handles are wooden. Um, I don't know what kind of wood. I don't know if it's bamboo or not. It could well be, uh, but they are so so comfortable to hold I, i've never had a brush so comfortable now i have uh, these brushes as well i've bought a set of these you know these ebay specials and you get expensive ones of these where you know, with this 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 uh, triangular shape down the shaft you think oh, that's really handy and they are comfortable to hold but i'm telling you now there is nothing more comfortable than that now it look, actually looks like a pen uh, i'm not so sure if i've got a pen handy there you go uh, look a bit. You see, it's very, very same shape as a pen, um, and uh, I've got to say, it's just so natural holding it. You can actually hold it like a pen instead of a paintbrush. You can actually hold it like a pen, and it's really good. I would imagine they use these for calligraphy and things like that as well. But uh, you, as I say, it's a shame they only come in the four sizes. Really, the smallest one, which is the zero one. Okay, that to be honest with you, because it keeps its point so well. Um, is good enough for, I've used this on everything, the smallest of small detail that normally I would use like a treble zero for or something like that. I've used this and uh, I've had no qualms whatsoever. They clean up brilliantly, they are synthetic, they're not sable, uh, they are synthetic um, but they clean up so well, they're so well made. I mean this, uh, I don't know what this is called, this part here, um, but um, you can see where I've accidentally got paint right up to the, uh, the ring there, but um, you don't have to shape these after you finish them. You don't have to clean them with a brush cleaner or anything like that. They are pretty solid as they come out of the tip here, 
but once you get to the end they're lovely and soft but they are quite strong um, and uh, as soon as these mess up I will go and buy a load more because they are absolutely fantastic um, and uh, I've used nothing but this and the number four I think it is uh, since I've bought them I haven't even opened those two as you've seen uh, but this and the number four is all I've used for all of my painting um, and uh, until I would suggest that you buy one and see if you like it but it's so tactile it's so comfortable to hold that it's a joy to use and I'm really as you know from my reviews I'm a, an experienced guy I like to experience um, good things while I'm modeling and the tools that I've got help me you know enjoy that experience because the, the, the feel and um, the usage of tools are quite important with this because it's quite an integral part of our hobby so when I use something, when I pick up something like this, and I think, "Oh, that's really nice." I wish I was on commission for Zukimura, but um, you know, I'd never heard of them until until the Telford show. You know, because you can't, you can hardly find any pictures of them, let alone find anywhere that sells them. But they are absolutely fantastic. And uh, if you are looking for another brush, this is a massive all-rounder. It really is. And you're, I'm sure there's those diehards amongst you that will say, "Oh no, well it's not sable. It's got to be sable." If it's not sable, then it's rubbish and all that. Well, I say poo to you. Absolute poo. These are brilliant to use, and I love them. And, believe it or not, they actually paint Tamiya quite well, which is uh, quite unusual in itself. Um, I've painted uh, black Tamiya with that. I've used guns with them and everything. And uh, they are much better than the sable brushes. You wouldn't think so, because they're harder, but they are. Um, they, but they are quite rigid. Um, but I love them, as I say, I think they're great to hold um, and uh, I would say suggest that someone go and buy maybe the number one, which would be the one that you would use the most, um, or a number two, um, and go and try them. Even you, Rob, yes, even you, Rob, who is a master of the brush, should go and try these. Um, but um, that's my take on the Zukimori brush. There's no point in me doing a, a painting demonstration for you um, because, I mean, it's all subjective really. But you will, uh, if you get some one of these, I'm, I'm telling you now, you will not regret it. I really like them. Um, so anyway, that is the Zukimore Special Brush, um, and they're about 4 99 each, and they are massive, massive thumbs up from me, and well worth a buy. Thanks a lot. See you later.